Hello, my name is Markus Pisto. I'm the CEO of CISC Semiconductor. In this video, we will show you an indoor positioning system via ultra -wide band. The video will show you first the goals and the benefits of this demonstrator system. Then we will show how the principle of the ultra -wide band demonstrator system works. Then you will see a localization experiment doing in the lab by one of our engineers and we will finalize with a short summary. Goals and benefits of the ultra wideband demonstrator system are to perform real-time positioning experiments in a multipass intensive environment, which is, for example, in the office, industrial or residential environments. Then we can evaluate various algorithms and can achieve accuracies within smaller than 30 centimeters resolution for the positioning. Further, there are collection of measurements possible to do a channel estimation and modeling and you can do further offline processing to evaluate the algorithms used or to verify the receiver architectures. Further goals and benefits of the ultra wideband demonstrator system are evaluation and comparison of standards, which are for example IEEE 802.15.4a versus the .4f standard. Then the system can act as a reference system for lower quality hardware, which is usable for example for the verification of hardware by exchanging the high performance equipment partially or to do evaluation of particular hardware components. How does the localization of the active RFID work? Let's consider an active tag transmits an ultra wideband signal with unknown coordinates. This signal is received by three base stations which forward the information to a computer that calculates the position of the tag with time difference of arrival. The ultra wideband demonstrator system has following structure, whereas we have here the transmitter, which is in our case an active tag, then we have the receiver system with the three base stations, and finally the post-processing with MATLAB. Hello, this is the ultra wideband demonstrator system for uh, real-time loc uh, locating. Uh, the core element of the uh, demonstrator system is the FPGA here. The FPGA is used for generating the baseband ultra wideband pulses according to the IEEE 22.15.4a standard. Um, the FPGA generates uh, the two pulse streams, so uh, positive one stream for the positive pulses and one for the negative coded pulses. Uh, they are transmitted over the multi-gigabit transceivers and then they are combined here on this PCB plate here where one channel is inverted and the other one is positive um, and then they are added together. The signal is then transmitted um, and um, goes through a uh, pulse shaping filter uh, this is necessary that the pulses uh, satisfy the uh, regulations of the standard so that they are fitting uh, into the uh, spectrum mask. Then the signal goes in the uh, vector signal generator where the signal is upconverted and amplified. And then the signal goes through, um, through an uh, attenuator where this attenuator is uh, necessary for um, uh, accurate calibration of the system where the system is calibrated to the FCC regulations and the Eurobank regulations. The signal goes through another amplifier and is then transmitted by this ultra wideband antenna and then the signal uh, is transmitted here over the wireless channel. It goes here to this um, uh, receiver antenna which is actually our base station. And then we have two, two others. We have another one here. 
and one behind of the camera. Then, the, as the signal is received uh, um, by the base station, it goes through a filter here, a baseband filter, uh, which, uh, which filters uh, the, has the passband between 3 and 6 gigahertz. It is amplified by a no noise amplifier and then goes uh, into the digital storage oscilloscope. Um, the PC, then the digital storage oscilloscope is accessed by the PC and the measurement is, um, is loaded into MATLAB. In MATLAB, we, we uh, have a GUI and um, the GUI, we can make an auto scale of the digital storage oscilloscope. Then we can see here uh, the base, uh, the channel impulse responses from the base, three base stations. And then we can see here the positioning scenario where we can see here these three base stations. And here this circle here is the actual position. And then next to this, it's the it's the estimated position. Here we can also see the two hyperbolas which are crossing due to we are uh, applying here time difference of arrival. We have here a very accurate estimation. It is around 23 centimeter arrow. So we are able to get here a very high accurate estimation in our indoor environment. And um, so the ultra wideband demonstrator system can be used for research purposes and development purposes, also for uh, evaluating the st IEEE standard, standard, and also for channel estimation, research on channels, and um, with respect to its localization and communication aspects. Thank you.